Hello all, it's James Johnson, aka Sulphurblade, and then sadly, I am here to inform you about more woke nonsense being enacted in California, which will certainly spread to other states like Wildfire. We all remember the idiocy that was the plastic straw band that then spread to plastic bags that then spread from California up to Oregon and Washington. And who who knows where else? I, I'm I'm sure there's other states that can no longer have plastic bags in their grocery stores and now have a bag tax where they have to spend fifteen cents a fucking to buy a goddamn bag of plastic that is ten times thicker than the plastic bag that we currently got and is going to be far worse for the environment, but I gladly pay it just to fill the landfills with these stupidly ridiculous thicker plastic bags because, hello, when are these politicians going to learn that when they try to mandate shit, it only makes shit worse? Well, in California, we're, we've, got an, we've got an interesting one here. Introduced by Assemblymember Lowe, February 20th, 2020, an act to add Part 2157 commencing with Section 55.7 of Division 1 of the Civil Code relating to civil rights. Existing law in the UNRU Civil Rights Act specifies that all persons within the jurisdiction of the state are free and equal no matter their sex, race, color, religion, ancestry, national origin, disability, medical condition, genetic information, marital status, sexual orientation. Mind you, all this information we're reading out right here, California tried to appeal that and lost. They, they wanted to put people into boxes, but because their state law has already un... Uh, undivided everyone as being equal, but they, they put in a great attempt to try to appeal that law and failed. However, here we have a whole brand new amount of woke lunacy. This bill would require a retail department store with 500 or more employees retail department store with more than 500 or more employees. Well, that's that's Target. That's Kmart, that's Sears, that's JCPenney, that's basically any fucking department store you go to at a mall. <clears throat> um, to maintain undivided areas of its sales floor where it sells childcare articles, children's clothing, or toys. All childcare items, all clothing for children, or all toys, regardless of whether a particular item has traditionally been marketed for either girls or boys, shall be displayed beginning on January 1st, 2023. The bill would make a retail department store that fails to correct a violation of these provisions within 30 days of receiving written notice of violation from the Attorney General liable for a civil penalty of $1,000 as provided. Now let's just read through some of the specifics, shall we? <clears throat> the legislature finds and declares both of the following. A. Unjustified differences in similar products that are traditionally marketed for either girls or boys can be more easily identified by consumers if similar items are displayed closer to one another in an undivided area of the retail sales floor. So, so far this is starting out maybe logically with the exception of what business is it of the U.S. government to tell a fucking department store how it should d display its merchandise? Um, anybody able to answer that question for me? You probably can't, right? Government has no business telling anyone where they should have anything in a fucking department store. But, you know, they're, they're out 
to make our shopping better because the unjustified differences in similar products that are traditionally marketed either for girls or boys can it could be more easily identified by consumer if it was all in one place it'll make our shopping so much better god thank you california why couldn't i have you to tell department stores all over the country how to make our shopping experience better and i'm being very sarcastic right now if you're not aware because it only gets worse from here keeping similar items that are traditionally marketed either for girls or boys separated makes it more difficult for the consumer to compare the products and incorrectly implies that their use by one gender is inappropriate so tommy when you're walking down the barbie aisle and uh you're sneaking a peek at that barbie doll um we don't want you to feel like that's an, an inappropriate activity so you know for you tommy we're we're going to ensure that barbie dolls will now be hanging right next to your favorite transformer you know optimus prime barbie ken and he-man will, will all be right there right next to each other because now it'll make the, the the world a better place and tommy you won't have to feel embarrassed about staring at barbie's beautiful figure as you walk out of the store with optimus prime anyway but you know i digress <clears throat> We, we, we can't embarrass the young people now, can we? No, no, can't do that. But while, while laughing aside, maybe there is something to that. Maybe, maybe there is, maybe a, a young boy does have a desire to play with Barbie dolls. And being seen in a Barbie aisle could be rather embarrassing for him. So... For that young boy, if he wants to play with Barbie dolls, fine. And and this bill certainly looks out for him. And and I could I could see that little minutia of this law helping that young boy from being embarrassed. But making that one particular oddball young boy's life better requires making everybody else's life worse. Because let's read the next part of it, shall we? A retail department store shall maintain one undivided area of its sales floor where if it sells child care articles, all child care articles, regardless of whether a particular item has traditionally been marketed for either girls or for boys, shall be displayed. Yes, we're going to put it all into one section. So now, when you go shopping, it's going to be so much harder to find what you're looking for because it's all going to be jumbled together in one spot thank you geniuses in the california government a retail department store shall maintain one undivided area of sales floor where it sells children's clothing all clothing for children regardless of whether a particular item has traditionally been marketed for either girls or boys shall be displayed yes you know those specifically cut levi's jeans that are designed specifically for a girl you know the ones that that hug the the thighs and then flare out and are bell bottom like and and are great for a girl but if a little boy had to put that on they would be completely embarrassed and humiliated at school yeah parents it's on you now to try to figure out if those 505s or those 510s or those five you better start learning your numbers so you know which ones are for a boy and which ones are for a girl because they're not going to be in different parts of the store anymore. They're going to be right fucking next to each other. So guess what? When you bring home that great pair of Levi's jeans for Christmas and you wrap it up as a decoration and you give it to your son and he so excitedly rips it open to be like, you bought me girls jeans? And you get to feel like a schmuck because this law is going to make that 
opportunity so much easier to happen. But I digress. Let's continue on. A retail department store shall maintain one undivided area of sales floor where it sells toys. All toys. Regardless of whether a particular item was traditionally has traditionally been marketed for either girls or for boys shall be displayed. This section shall only apply to retail department stores with 500 more employees. So basically all retail department stores. Unless, you know, you're a mom and pop's retail department store, which almost doesn't even... The, the, the two statements just don't kind of ma mesh, do they? I mean, it's certainly possible for... Um, like in my hometown, I think we had a... Well, then I'll be doxing myself. Well, we had a particular store that was that was locally owned by it was very nice little on the expensive side but they had really the best quality merchandise there and I, I I strongly approved of it it was it was a great location to go shopping if you were willing to pay the slightly extra amount of money you knew that you were gonna get the best items um, regardless of which they, they didn't carry the because they only had so much room so this wouldn't apply to that type of shop. Not that there's many shops like that that exist in the United States. In fact, they're, they're very rare, if almost a unicorn at this point. <clears throat> Beginning on January 1st, 2023, a retail department store that fails to correct a violation of this section within 30 days of receiving written notice of violation from the Attorney General is liable for a civil penalty of $1,000 which may be assessed and recovered in civil actions brought in the name of the people of the state of California by the Attorney General in any court of competent jurisdiction. For purposes of this section, child care articles means any product designed or intended by the manufacturer to facilitate sleep, relaxation, or feeding of children, or to help children with sucking or teething. Okay. Clothing means any wearing apparel worn for any purpose, including under and outer garment shoes, accessories, composed primarily of woven material, natural or synthetic yarn, fiber, or leather or similar fabric. Oh, right. And toys means all products designed or intended by the manufacturer to be used by children when they play. Oh, so your favorite dildo is, isn't going to be... Okay. Well, that's good. Um, adult toys aren't... Uh, they can stay gender separate, evidently. I don't know where I'm going with that. Anyway, um... Yeah, here it is. Uh, look forward to shopping in California uh, in the upcoming years because California is getting even more stupid as government feels the need to tell department stores where and how they should display their merchandise for their customers. As if... A department store is not already motivated by that thing called greed and money to display their merchandise in the most beneficial way to their customer possible in order to facilitate the largest amount of profit possible. The United States government, or in this case, the California government, is going to interject and help them to make even more robust amounts of money in their department store, or lack thereof of making money because it's just going to make it a, a shopping nightmare. And if you're anywhere near a border, you might just go to a completely different state that doesn't have these regardless, these, these amazingly inept laws on the books. Uh, but yeah, this is this is California. This is this is how they think in California. This is how the leftist mob thinks. They're fucking nuts. They really are. And when you elect Democrat politicians, this is the type of shit you get. Don't blame us conservatives. 
for this shit. We don't we we call this a spade. We're we're perfectly happy with having boys clothing in in the boys section and girls clothing in the girls section. This this is fucking nonsense. Unless you're a Democrat, then you think this is genius. Anyway, I'm James Johnson, a.k.a. Sulphur Blade. This is my content. Hopefully you're enjoying it. If so, please leave a like and subscribe. And until the next time, all, peace.